In this video, we're going to talk about one of the extensions for Ninja Forms called Conditional Logic. Now, using Conditional Logic in Forms is one of my favorite things to do. I know that sounds kind of nerdy, but it, it, it really does add a lot of flexibility and power over our forms. And basically what we can do with Conditional Logic is we can take actions in our forms based on input from our users. So I'll explain what I mean by that, but first I'm going to show you how to install it. Now, if you go to your add-ons under Ninja Forms, it can show you all of the different add-ons and extensions that are available. And if they've come with your plan, if you log into your Ninja Forms account, they're going to be available under your available downloads. So I'm just going to download the Conditional Logic plugin. And now I'm going to install it just like I would any other plugin. I'm going to go to Add New, click Upload Plugin, and I'll just drag and drop this over. and install it and activate the plugin. And then under licenses, under your settings, you're gonna to wanna to put in your license. So I'm just gonna do that quickly now. So now that I've activated my license, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create a new form specifically for this and we're gonna call it our conditional logic form or something along those lines. So let me show you how this works. So let's say that we were creating a form for a summer camp and the parents were going to be filling out the form and we wanted to find out if the children had any kind of dietary restrictions that we needed to know about. But instead of having them fill out a bunch of different form fields that didn't apply to them, we only want to show them the fields if they do apply to them. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a select form and we're going to call this or label this does your child have any dietary needs or let's say special dietary needs yeah and then we'll just have this be yes and the value will be yes and no and then we'll get rid of that and so this is just a simple yes or no question right so we'll click done and now we'll have a checkbox list and we'll say please select all that apply and under this we will put in let's say vegan you know vegetarian and let's just say allergic to peanuts so we want to put in all you know all the different options and we'll do a checkbox list that way they can only select the ones that apply to them and then we'll put in another option let's just say other right so now we'll click done and we'll go to advanced and then conditional logic and we'll say when does your child have any special dietary needs has selected yes so if it says if if they've answered does your child have any special dietary needs with yes then what do we want to do we want to select please select all that apply that's our second form field and we want to click on show field so you can see that there's a bunch of different options you can select options or hide options show or hide fields etc and so what we want to do is we want to show our second field if they've selected yes to the first one and then if if the condition is not yet uh, if the condition is not yet met we want to hide the field right so now let's add a, a new conditional field where it's if they've under please select all that apply if they have selected other, we're gonna have them show a paragraph field, right? But let's stop that for now. I'll go back to my form fields. I'll add a new paragraph text field, and I'll say, please describe in detail, right? And so this is if they, under police select, select all that apply, they select other, we wanna give them a paragraph text field to put in any details. So now we'll go back to conditional logic and we'll add a new condition and we'll say under please select all that apply. If they have selected other, then we want to show please describe in detail. And if the condition is not met, we want to hide it, right? So that's done for now. Let's go back to our form. We will publish this. And then let's close this down and we'll create a new page. We'll add in our form. 
and click publish. And now when we take a look at this on the front end, you can see when we load it up, we only have, or actually, yeah, see, uh, what I would do is I would select no as the default answer, that way it wouldn't pop up, but this is what it should look like. You can see we don't see anything, and then at, if I select yes under this question, it shows me please select all that apply, and then if I click on other, it says please describe in detail. So that's a very basic example, but you can see how we can take what would be a really long form and only show people the form fields that are going to apply to them. And then we can show them further or take certain actions depending on how they filled out their form. But now let's go back to our form page because I want to show you some other stuff that we can do with conditional logic. So now we're back on our form and now let's say that we wanted to change where the email notification went depending on what was selected here. So let's say that we wanted to send an email to the cook of our summer camp if one of the child has special dietary needs, that way they know, right? So what we can do is we'll go to email and actions and we'll create a new email that goes out and this is gonna be to, you know, cook at my summer camp or whatever it would be. So you put in the email address of whoever's gonna be responsible and then we have a new tab here, conditional logic. And so we'll say process this in, in essence, send out this email if, right? Or you can say don't process this, right? So process this when any or all of the conditions are met. So you can have multiple conditions and only when all of them are met or when any of them are met, it will process, right? So we're gonna say all and we're gonna say, does your child have any special dietary needs? If they've selected yes, then this email is gonna to go to the chef. If they haven't selected yes, and so there are no special dietary needs, this email won't go out. And you can also do the same thing, like if you were doing a contact form, you could have a drop down select of all of the different departments and then create a email for each department. And then depending on which one the user selected, that notification email would go directly to that department. So you can see there's a lot of different stuff that we can do with conditional logic. And the last thing I wanna show you about conditional logic is we can also integrate this with our calculations. So it's not just if they've selected a certain option that we can trigger conditional logic with. If we go into our quiz form, we could also do conditional logic based on our total. So if we go into conditional logic here, we can, do our, we can pick our calculations, our quiz total, and we could say if it's equal then, if it's greater to, if it's less than, and then we can do certain actions. We can show them certain information. We could show them additional fields, all based on what our totals are. So you can see that by combining calculations and conditional logic, we can really create some intricate complex forms without having our users have to see everything that's going on. So we can use calculations and conditional logic together and use certain conditional logic based on what our calculation totals are. So that's everything we're gonna talk about for now when it comes to conditional logic with Ninja Forms. It can be a little bit tricky to get into. It is actually really simple. You just have to kind of plan out the logic of how you wanna to put together your forms. If you do have any questions, please do post in the Latte Press forums and I or somebody else will try to help you out as soon as possible. I'll also link the documentation about conditional logic over at Ninja Forms so you can read about it in more detail. But it is a lot of fun and it really creates the ability to have very flexible but complex forms to get all the information you need without shoving all of the fields into the faces of your users.